Hi, this is Erica with Refine Your Way of Life. And today I wanna to talk about one of my favorite plants, the fiddle leaf fig. Several year, years ago, I purchased a fiddle leaf fig plant on Clarence, and it has been with me for a very long time, and it has helped me to create all of the plants that you see behind me. So I wanna talk a little bit about propagating and caring for your plant. I did have my fig for a long time. It started to get very tall and then it just died on me. So instead of just throwing it away, I cut the stem and I propagated the plant and I was actually able to get these beautiful luscious green plants that are behind me. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let's get into the process of reviving my fiddle leaf fig. This is what the plant looked like when I purchased it. As you can see, it was kind of in rough condition, which is probably why it was on clearance. I was able to kind of revive it. My front window gets the morning sun and this plant seems to love that morning sun. So it did start to grow and look very healthy. I don't have a picture, but at some point, all of the leaves just started to fall off of the plant, starting at the bottom. And there was just this one little piece that was left at the top. At that point, I just cut the whole branch into four pieces. So I left this small little portion in the original pot, and I took the other three pieces and put them in a vase with water to see if they would grow roots. They indeed did grow very strong roots. So today I am going to pot those plants. I am going to start with the very top portion of the plant. This was the only part of my original fiddle leaf fig that still had leaves on it. As you can see, it has a lot of roots. So I'm very excited to see how this one will grow. This is about how much soil I added to the bottom before I add the plant to the pot. Here I'm trying to simultaneously record with two phones and I literally almost lost my plant doing this. Slipped out of my hands. I guess today I'm a little bit clumsy.
here I'm just going to take my potting soil and fill in the rest of the pot, making sure that it stands up straight. You want to pack the soil in, but you don't want it to be too tight. The roots need to breathe. So here she is looking very pretty, very green. I just really love how this one turned out. Um, this plant didn't stay in this pot for a long time because it just started to grow and get very big. So I think I did end up repotting it a little while later. Also, if I could go back and do anything differently, I would raise it up a little higher because those leaves at the bottom are a little bit too close to the pot. And with fiddle leaf figs, I realized they don't really like to touch anything. So if it's touching your pot or touching another plant, those leaves won't do well. Next up, I have the two metal pieces. These two pieces were literally just sticks. There was nothing on them, no leaves, no roots. I just took them and put them in bases. And as you can see, the roots developed and also they have grown several leaves. So I am going to pot them into two different pots just look at those strong roots that have developed and also the beautiful green leaves of the plant i just love it the process is pretty much the same i'm gonna fill the pots with a little bit of soil at the bottom insert the plant and then kind of pack that soil in so that they stand up straight. I just really love how these two turned out. They're like sisters. And I think that eventually I am going to put them in the same pot to see if I can just get a really full fig plant. Plus, I really don't need a thousand plants. Might give some away, who knows. But if you look here closely, this is where you can really see that these were literally just cut off sticks. It wasn't even a clean cut. I literally just cut them. They were plain sticks in a vase and they just grew to what you see here right now. Mostly the figs. 
I do have two pothos plants and I also propagated some snake plants which I will talk about in another video but these plants have kind of taken over my office I never thought I would even be a plant person because I don't do well with taking care of living things but I do enjoy um, the greenery and what they've added to our home if you would like to see more content like this please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up indicating that you like the video i hope that you liked it and so here are my babies they are doing very well i will have some follow-up videos because this was actually done about a year ago so they have changed since then we've had some issues since then but they're all still here and i do plan to share these with you all in future videos Thank you so much for watching and look out for more content coming in the future.